Hi there, I'm Jennifer Tryon, and if you're like me, your family is knee-deep in old candy wrappers right about now in this week after Halloween. Don't throw them all out just yet. I'm going to show you a cute project that you can make with them. All right, I'm going to start with this big Smarties pack, but you can use any plastic wrapper. I'm just going to use this one because it's big. Now, the key when you're eating your candy is to remember not to destroy the packaging if you want to make a project like this. In fact, we want to be very careful to cut the packaging nice and straight. So I'm using a cutting mat, a ruler, and a rotary cutter. And I'm just being careful to center my Smarties sign. That way everything will look nice and even. It also means I'm cutting off the calorie count, which is okay by me. I basically just wanna make sure I've got two even sides for the front and the back. So now I've got my two sides and I'm gonna cut my cute lining fabric to match. Okay, once you've got your lining fabric, you can set this aside and start to prep your fusible. I'm cutting this the same size as I cut my packaging. Just getting rid of any air bubbles. Okay, so now we've got to put our vinyl onto our wrappers to protect them. So you wanna peel off the vinyl, line it up best as you can. Now try to ensure there's no air bubbles and just trim off any extra. Now the instructions on this fusible will tell you to iron it, but because it's plastic, we don't want it to melt and it's pretty good and stuck on here as it is. So I've tried it both ways and I like it better not ironed. So now we need to attach our zipper. So I'm gonna lay my lining down, then I'm gonna lay down my zipper with the raw edge to the raw edge. And then I wanna lay down my outer fabric, which is the packaging, face down. And I'm just gonna clip. I'm not using pins because pins would make holes in my plastic. So I'm gonna flatten this nice and straight and I'm gonna top stitch this down so it lays nice and flat. And I'm using a contrasting thread color to the packaging, one that matches my zipper. Okay, so now we're gonna do the other side. Raw edge to raw edge and the other side of my packaging face down. That's gonna be the back. So now we've got our liner and our exterior. Now it lays nice and flat with that top stitching. Okay, so the next step is to sew the bag together. Make sure your zipper is open for this part because you're gonna have to turn it right side out. So you're gonna take your lining fabric and sew it together and your exterior fabric and sew it together. And you're gonna have your zipper facing towards your liner. So I'm gonna remind myself with a set of pins here to leave a little hole for the opening so that it can be turned right side out. And I'm going to basically just sew around the perimeter, minus here. Back stitch. When you get to the corner, leave your needle down, press your foot up, and pivot. That's gonna give you a nice square. I'm just gonna trim these corners so I can get a nice boxed out bag. You can see why it was important to leave my zipper open, because now we're going to turn it right side out. So now because the plastic has that vinyl on top of it, it's very tough and hardy now. So you really will have to work, push those corners out. And so before we tuck the liner in, we want to sew the inside shut. And it'll just sort of naturally fall. And now I can take it to the machine and just straight stitch right across. Back stitch. And top stitch. Our cute little bag is done.